Today is the day of Aaron running. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to Lucky's and get some oranges to make homemade orange juice because the other day when I went there, it was three pounds of oranges for a dollar. I thought it was three oranges for a dollar. And so I bought three and the checkout lady was like, no, it's three pounds for a dollar. And I was like, well, shoot. I'm gonna come back and get me some more to make some fresh homemade orange juice. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Basically like a quarter gallon. It's $5.99. So let's see how much our oranges cost. Let's see if mine tastes the same. Like this. I already have black and chicken right here. Oh, that's good. And then we have a new thing that Mark and Rocky have. I'll have uh, two of the black and chicken too. Thanks. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You too. Thanks. Two eighty two. Yeah. <laughs> Almost nine pounds. Nine pounds. See? It's great. So here at Lucky's, if you bring your own bags, they give you these little like chips. These little tokens, and you can donate it to the one that you want. Golden Diver Connection, Capital City Youth Conditioning, Red Oak Community School. I guess we'll do the diapers. We need to fund the women. So I come to get my oil changed, and there's one, two, three cars ahead of me on the fourth car. So I think I'm going to come back because I'm not trying to wait here for an hour. Check these out. Bad boys. They were like, do you want your lip done? I don't think it's really bad right now, but. So two really, um, well, one really amazing and one really terrible thing that just happened while getting my eyebrows threaded. <laughs> the first terrible thing is that, um, so I have a uh, long sleeve shirt on, a sweatshirt, Shout out to my parents for getting me this awesome sweatshirt for Christmas. Anyways, and I have this um, vest on, right? So I get inside and it's like so hot in there and I sit down in the chair and I'm like sweating, like like profusely sweating from my face and like that's super embarrassing because you have to get your eyebrows done and they have to touch your face. So I'm like, great, I need to cool myself off. So I take off my vest, still sweaty. So then I'm like, well, I don't really want to take off my sweatshirt because I don't have a bra on. Well, I had to take off my sweatshirt because I wouldn't stop sweating. So I was sitting there without a bra on for everybody to see. But the great thing that happened was the lady that did my eyebrows was deaf. And luckily she was the person to do my eyebrows. I got her and I was like, are you deaf? Well, I signed it and she was like, yeah, da, 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 da. So then we had this huge long conversation and signed and she told everyone that I was an interpreter and it was just so cute and it was great to be able to interact with her because she probably was excited that I knew some sign language. 
It was great. Good thing I didn't wait for the oil change because I never would have had this fun experience. But let's go see if the line is less now, the um, Valvoline, because I still need to get my oil changed. So now the line is even longer because it's wrapped around the building to get your oil changed. Like, how am I even supposed to get out? All right, we're going to reverse. Cars moving. This is literally crazy. I mean, I get it that it's a Saturday. I mean, I know. I get it. It's a Saturday. But, like, for real? Is everybody getting their oil changed today? Then here's another thing. Look at this. When I drive by, you're going to be able to see that only one bay is open. You see this? There's no car even in the other one. So... Maybe somebody called off. I don't know. But why is the other side not open? I guess I'll just have to wait another uh, 5,000 miles to get my oil changed. <laughs> just kidding. I probably shouldn't do that. Ooh! I'm going to go to Patty Cake. Patty Cake? Patty Cake? I didn't, get any, I didn't get any sweet treats from Lucky, so I have to go to Patty Cake. Duh. Oh, no. What happened to their sign? Look at that. Yikes. At least the one that sticks out is still okay, but good lord, what happened to that sign? It is like destroyed. Oh, I see, it's wood. It rotted. That's classy. Well, here we go. change required I just can't get to the one you may be wondering where Michelle is well her and Justine decided to stay up until 4 30 in the morning last night I went to bed early but they stayed up super late so Michelle is still napping